would tell us, uh, just go on up to Yard Gnomes Sporting Goods and get what you want, and give me the send, bring the uh, ticket out to me, and uh, so our coach was Ralph Galtelli at the at the time, and we talked, we brought the ticket out there to him, and uh, Ralph gave it to him, and, and he said. Uh, he said, here's what, what it was, that was a little over $5,000. And Elvis grabbed it, and he said, oh, okay, here, Danny, pay this. And Vernon said, oh, my God, Elvis, how can we afford that? He said, oh, hell, Daddy, pay it. <laughs> and so, uh, but, you know, I had some, I had four nightclubs at the time back in the, back in the 60s. And at one time, Elvis rented, rented one of the clubs out at night for New Year's Eve, one New Year's Eve night. He rented several in Memphis, but this particular time he rented, I was running the Manhattan Club on Bellevue at the time, which is now Elvis Presley Boulevard. And uh, he had a he, he had a, a man playing for him named Willie Mitchell, who, if y'all know anything about rhythm and blues, that's all the kind of music that Elvis liked back in those days. With uh, Clyde McFadden, the Drifters, the Clovers, the Spaniels. And uh, he, uh, Willie, Willie Mitchell is the one that discovered a guy named Al Green, if y'all ever heard of him. And uh, at another club I had, I gave a start to a group called the Barcades. I don't know if y'all ever heard of them. But all of them but one got killed in a plane crash with Otis Reddy in 1967. And uh, also, I gave a guy named Isaac Hayes his start at another club I had, and uh, back when he was Black Moses, and uh, he got an Academy Award for a song called Shaft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, the Bar Kays, this the guy that only one that survived the plane crash, his name was Ben Colley. And they were 14 years old at the time, all of them. And Ben couldn't swim a lick, and uh, but when the plane hit the water in, at Lake Monona, Wisconsin, uh, a cushion came by. It's the, he, he undid his seatbelt and it shot him out the back of the plane, and he undid his seatbelt and he couldn't swim. But a cushion came by and he, and he grabbed it, and he could hear all his buddies, 13, 14 years old, and he couldn't swim to him because he couldn't swim. And and so anyway, he he uh, he's such a he's such a great entertainer. He played he played on uh, Suspicious Minds in the Ghetto, Don't Cry Daddy, Kentucky Rain. And by the way, I was there when it, when Elvis recorded all those songs at, at, at American Recording Studio with Chips Moment and and Felton Jarvis. And uh, but he was such a he was such a great and generous guy. He was. He was always there, you know, when, when, whenever he'd come in town, he would have somebody, he'd say, they would go have a party or something. He'd say, call Weenie, y'all call Weenie. And, and, you know, it started off with maybe just eight or 10 people, but then those 10 people told 10 more, and so it ended up being a, a, a big crowd out there. And, and same thing with the, uh, with the fairgrounds and the, all the theaters just took one one person to start the ball rolling and it, 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 it would be like a mob out there, but he, that's where he liked it. He liked to be around people and uh, but he was, he was such a he was such a good guy and a very talented person and uh, he had a he 